man. Yeah, so I never felt, you know, um, my mom, w when I was nine years old, she remarried, and we moved to the, the complete, what I considered to be at the time, like... The ritzy part of yeah, town. Yeah, 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 which it really wasn't, yeah. but compared to where we were, it was, yeah. right? So then you got to switch schools to yeah. middle school, and now you got three, four elementary schools meeting up at one school. Yeah. So then it's like starting over again. Uh -huh. And then right when you start feeling comfortable there, it's time to switch to high school. And then you got all these other ones. Yeah. You know what I mean? It was just, for me, I never felt like at at peace there. You mm. know what I mean? Like I never felt um, just like, like, like I belonged, mm. you know? Um, I had my friends and then, you know, I started playing guitar and that was, started being in bands and what grade was that well i was that kid that was learning guitar while nobody knew about it because mm -hmm. i never took lessons but in eighth grade i remember they had a guitar in the band hall an electric guitar it's like a fender strat and i remember i just loved looking at it right and two of my friends actually could play and um one of them oddly enough turns out to be Shelly Lott is his cousin and ends up getting me my first gig in Tejano Music. Wow. And here we are in middle school, yeah. right? But I didn't, I mean... Because you were playing with Shelly, right? Uh, I did for I, a minute, I remember yeah. that picture. Don't you have like a hat yeah, on? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I got to find that picture so we can put it on. It's out, out there. <laughs> Jesse's in it too. Jesse oh, was yeah. a drummer. He's on the yeah. back picture. Uh, but... um. Yeah, so... Uh, so you picked up the guitar and then you started uh, learning it. Uh, that you on, found it on in the school. On the down low, yeah. yeah you well, my dad had bought me... Uh, your stepdad or your... No, my uh, real dad okay. had bought me um, an acoustic guitar. Okay. Um, and it was little, right? Which was a... And the strings were like that high off the, off the neck. It was... It was a starter, difficult. man. It was one of those starters. Which is weird. You would think the starters <laughs> would be easier to play yeah. so that you don't lose the, you know. Interest. Your, yeah. Yeah. But nah, hell no. They're hard. And they I guess were, that's the way they, they weed out the. They were setting you up to fail, dog. Yeah. No, that's the way they weed out the quitters. Right? Yeah, yeah, You're going to yeah, quit. Yeah, you're going to quit yeah, on this guitar. Yeah, yeah. Right? Exactly. So um, I had it hanging on the wall, man. And then I remember one one day in eighth grade, my boy Tony picks up the guitar and he starts playing the beginning riff to Crazy Train from Ozzy, oh, right? Oh, damn. And I know notes, like I, because uh, I'm already reading music and writing music, but in, in a band context, mm -hmm. uh, marching band, yeah. concert band context. Um, so you were not, involved in the band in school then? Yeah, oh, okay, in middle cool. school. That's when I started in sixth grade. I started learning how to read and write music. Sixth grade, seventh grade, eighth grade. In eighth grade, when we were, yeah, the older kids in the band, my boy Tony picks up the guitar and being a fan of Ozzy's or whatever, he started playing the riff to Crazy Train. And boy, he got my attention and focused like that. Mm -hmm. and, and on the down low again, I'm looking at his fingers and I'm going, okay, I see where they're going. And okay, that's the first note. So I go home, I had the record, I put the record on, put on Crazy Train, which was, I think it's the second song on the record. Because I think it yeah, starts it with I Don't Know, right? Yeah, it's it's I Don't so, Know and then, then that one, yeah. So then I put it on Crazy Train and I hear, dun, dun. And I get my guitar off the wall and I put my finger on the second fret and I go, da, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. And then I get it to tune in the second note, dun. And then I tune it, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And that's how I started learning how to tune my guitar. That day I was playing, don, 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 Because I saw Tony play it, but yeah. I never said anything to anybody. And I would... I must have driven whoever was walking by my bedroom crazy because mm -hmm. I just played the play what I was learning over and over and over and over and over again. So that's kind of how I got my start doing all the all that um, the guitar playing kind of thing, you know. Mm -hmm. And then it, it just like little by little I started learning more and more and more. And then I got into classical music for a minute, and I did a solo ensemble. Uh, which nobody was doing in my school that that was doing a, a, a Bach piece mm -hmm. on acoustic guitar. Everybody was doing a trumpet solo or a clarinet or a flute or a drum solo or whatever. And I was the only one. And I got a one, I got a, I got a medal, right, for doing that. And for me, I was like so proud because I busted my ass. Like every day after school, I'd go home and I would read the music and learn how to do it. Completely wrong technique 
everywhere, but I was getting the song right, right? And I was playing the notes the way they should have been played. And this was before YouTubing and all that mm-hmm. stuff. So it's like I had no idea. Mm-hmm. All I had was the sheet music in front of me, which was six pages, front and back. So I had to find the notes and mm-hmm. figure out how to play them myself, right? So I would do all that. And then I got the medal, and I was supposed to go on to state, and my name wasn't on the list. And my band director had done it on purpose Damn. because he got pissed off because I quit. Um, marching band Mm -hmm. to to focus on jazz band and he said he really needed me to play the b-flat horn in marching band i was like i don't i don't i I don't want to do it anymore Mm -hmm. so out of spite he didn't turn in my name when i got the medal for number one and i was like what happened and he was like oh you know no big deal i was like man fuck you know i just yeah then you know i I started so, having problems with authority figures after yeah. that when I couldn't trust anybody. Yeah. You know, and... Um, you got out of the marching band or what? What did you do? I quit or, my I quit. 11th grade year so uh-huh. that I could focus more on my guitar playing. Uh-huh. And plus, it just wasn't my thing, man. Yeah. I, mean, I, I, I wanted to be in music and I was thankful to my instructors and directors and all of those guys. How for, was the band scene in San Antonio around that time? Was there a lot of bands or was it, uh, you know, what was the... There, was there a lot there of... There was a lot of... Um, my first experience in that was, I was already the rocker, right, in, in high school, and some of my friends, Tony, again, come in, the, the dude that I told you, uh, Shelly's cousin, uh-huh. that um, was the inspir- for, inspiration for me to start playing, he put a band together in high school, and they did, um... What song is a classic? The Hano song, maybe a little Joe or something. Mm-hmm. And they did the talent show almost as a joke, I thought. But there was a rock band that came out. There was this other act, another act, and whatever, whatever. And then they were the one of the last ones. When they came out and started playing that song, the whole place went nuts. And I'm like, you got to be kidding me, man. Mm-hmm. You know, it didn't, I didn't get it. Yeah, I I didn't get it. I, I mean, I never knew anybody in my school to like that kind of music. I didn't know that it was such an ingrained part of the, the culture. culture. You know, the quinceañeras, the weddings, mm-hmm. the all that stuff. Like, I was always a kid when I went to those things, so I always considered it to be old people music. Yeah, you know what I mean. But then here they are in high school playing that thing, playing that stuff. And all the students get up, and whether it was to be funny or whatever, it brought everybody together. You know what's interesting about that is while you were seeing that and you were thinking that Selena was doing that, yeah, this in was another in 19, part of this was eighty seven of the state, you know, 87, 80, yeah, 87. And how interesting that soon those paths would cross and yeah you'd be about doing two years later yeah yeah 